video record webcam and overlays is the third video in the playlist how to use screen recorder 4. To watch the videos in order click the playlist link in the video description. This video will show you how to organize your recording area and add your webcam display and one or more overlays to other things that are that you're recording. To do that, we'll be using the preview window, which is activated by clicking the button here. In this example, I'm not going to worry about the icons that are on the screen. I'm just going to move things into the recording area and not include icons in there that I don't want to record. So I've defined a recording area here. If you're going to post this recording on YouTube, just the numbers here so that the aspect ratio is 16 to 9. The easiest way to do that is to use a, an online tool. And here, here's an online tool. The address is https colon slash slash andrew dot hedges dot name slash experiments slash aspect underscore ratio slash. You decide whether the height or the width you want to keep. Let's, we need to keep the width so it'll cover everything that's in there now. And the width is 1121. So you enter the 1121 here. It tells you the height should be 631 for the right aspect ratio. Get it within one or two of what you need, and, and you'll be fine on YouTube. You won't have large black bars around the, the picture. We need the uh, control window back on screen, and we just click the icon in the, on the taskbar. Now we're going to add the webcam display, so we're going to click here. First of all, let's make sure it's set up properly. Click here and select webcam settings. You could also click settings webcam to open the same screen. That's my Logitech Rio webcam. Uh, I leave the defaults here. I'm not going to worry about the chroma key in this display. And other than that, uh, all those settings are okay. I don't I didn't make any changes so I can just cancel it. I've turned it on by clicking here. Here's a thumbnail of it and when I hover over it it shows me the full display but it doesn't show in the recording area. Now the way to do that is to use the preview display. So click this to turn on the preview display. Move the preview display and resize it so it doesn't overlap the recording area. Now it'll show you what your recording will look like, and you can see the items that are here, and you see the webcam and two overlays that I've defined. Let me, first of all, move this. It's covering one of my items, so I'll move that so that nothing that I was going to record is being blocked by any of the items. You can change the size of the webcam display by dragging the corners. And you can move it around by just move it, clicking anywhere in it and, and dragging it. On the overlays, the way you turn those on and off is clicking here. But the way you set up what the, which overlays you want to use is you click here. You get this screen here, and it shows you the overlays that you input to Screen Recorder. And you turn them on and off by clicking the eyes. You can also make them transparent or, or opaque by dragging this back and forth on each one. If you want to add more images, you can click here and browse and select more images to add to this list. I'll go ahead and turn off one of the overlays. That's the uh, trees. That's this one. I'll turn it off. Now I'll close this window. Now I have one overlay and I have the webcam display. If I want to make some adjustments to the webcam, I can do that also by clicking here and clicking the webcam settings at the bottom. And the webcam settings can be changed by clicking here. And there you have the standard things, the brightness and the contrast. And if you wanted to go to the camera control, you can zoom the webcam. And if you have zoomed it, you can change the field of view up, down, or left, right. 
I'm going to show you very roughly how to use the chroma key or green screen feature in Screen Recorder. Using chroma key, you film yourself in front of a green background and then you remove the green background and superimpose your image on another photo. For more information about making green screen videos, see playlist how to make green screen videos. The link is in the video description. Here's the primitive setup I used for this video. The green screen is on the left side of the picture. The webcam is on the right side of the picture about halfway up near the edge. And the lighting is coming from, believe it or not, a sitting light and the monitors on the computer. But I really recommend if you're doing serious green screen work that you, you film yourself in front of the green screen in the garage using a DSLR and then process that video with your CyberLink Power Director's green screen processing capability. You'll have much better luck than if you're trying to process it in screen recorders. You can control the lighting better, and lighting is very critical for green screen work. Plus, Power Director has a mask feature to let you block off areas in your video that are not covered by the green screen. You can't use the webcam chroma key feature if you use the device to, to uh, show the webcam instead of the actual webcams setting down here. Uh, we've discussed those elsewhere in the videos. You have to use the uh, webcam feature here. I've expanded the webcam display in the preview window as large as, as I can, basically, so it pretty much fills the uh, window. Open the webcam settings window, click the camera control tab. Use the zoom control to expand the green screen to fill the webcam display to block off the parts that aren't covered by the green screen. And then once you zoom it, you can use the pan and tilt to center yourself in the zoomed picture. Open the webcam page, click the chroma key box. After you've checked the chroma key box, you can select or replace a selected background photo that will be used for the chroma key. And if you do that by clicking the box here, and then browsing for, the f for a folder containing photos, and then select the photo you would like to use as your background photo. And click Open. And when you finish processing the chroma key and you make the green background disappear, you will see the selected background photo. If you want to get rid of your selected background photo, you can click the delete icon here. Then click the pencil marker. And now you move over here and you click close to your figure on the green. Now that provides the reference for the green screen, but now you have to adjust the color range to make sure you get rid of all the green. If you have any noise like this, you can fiddle with the green color range control and the denoise control until you can hopefully get rid of all this chatter here. So first let's try the color range a little more. Uh, looks like we did it okay. Now we can uh, close this screen. Notice my hair is fluttering. It, it's very difficult to get rid of the hair flutter. If you use an orangish background, that will get rid of a lot of it. If you use a bluer background, you may have a lot more trouble with the uh, hair flutter. So that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and record whatever it is you want. What I really suggest you do is record yourself in front of the green screen uh, at your computer if you must, but then process it with CyberLink Power Director and use the chroma key feature there to mask and adjust and get rid of the uh, green, replace it with any background that you want to select. You'll have much better results if you, if you do the processing in your Power Director video editor. But also I would really recommend that you don't try to do the uh, recording in front of your computer unless you're actually going to stream live with one of the more deluxe uh, versions of Screen Recorder. 
then you can process it in front of your computer. But if, if you're not going to be streaming it live, I would suggest you actually record it in your garage away from your computer and then process it in PowerDirector to do the chroma key processing. If you do that, you'll have much more room to set up adequate lighting. Lighting on a green screen is a very critical part of doing green screen uh, videography. You can get rid of the hair flutter and things like that. I can go ahead and put an overlay on there just to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to shut off the program making the tutorial. I'm going to do the actual recording here. And what it will show is just this. And then I will insert that in the video and you can see what the final result is of the uh, chroma key feature in, in the screen recorder. So this is the actual recording made with screen recorder. This is the end of the actual screen recorder recording. The next video in this playlist is record games and apps. That video will show you briefly how to record games with screen recorder and it will show you how to record apps or open folders using the lock to app feature. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are also links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to open the playlist containing this video. Click at lower left to watch a video especially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes YouTube channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.